Okay. Good morning, guys. Let's get the ICOM 7610 hooked up to N1MM Logger Plus. Okay, I'm going to go into a lot more detail in this video on getting this set up. Let's uh, take a look at the radio and the internal settings. We'll go to Menu, Set, Connectors, and I'm on the first page. And this is a little bit different than the first video I did. I'll show you the changes. Let's go to Mod Input. And uh, mod input, I have changed the USB mod level a little bit, but that's you know going to vary. It depends on your PC and how it's set up. If you want to look at data off mod, it's still at mic ACC. Data one mod USB. Data two and three. Mic USB and then data 3 mic USB. Uh, I had that set to LAN in the previous video. I've changed it. I haven't used it, but it's it's in the radio and anticipate using it someday. Let's take a look at USB Send King. And uh, this is one thing that's changed. I'm now using USB 1A for USB Send. USB 1B set at DTR for CW. USB 1B set at DTR for RIDI. The USB 1 indicates what cable I'm using. Eventually we'll hook up the, the high speed USB 3 cable. But for now we're using the USB 2 on the back of the radio. That's USB 1. Port A and Port B corresponds with the COM ports in your device manager. And I have a short video clip I just put out the other day, and it goes through that in much more detail. So these are the settings for USB Send Keen. That's one area that has changed. And the other area is CIV. I'm going to go up to the first page. Nothing, I, I believe, has changed here. Um, my CIV baud rate is still at 19.2. It's set to unlink from remote. The CIV USB baud rate I had to change to 115.2 so I could get the spectrum display going in N1MM logger. I previously had that set to auto and it was working good with HRD. So that's one, that's another change. And that really about does it. It's not uh, real complicated. Please look at the video that I did yesterday on the COM ports and how to determine which one is port A and which one is port B in your computer because that, uh, that will be a big part of it. And also you'll be able to see your radio serial number. Alright, we're over at N1MM Logger Plus, and I'm going to assume you have the latest version installed, and also MMTTY with the EX, EXT FSK installed. I have an excellent article on my website, k0pir.us, uh, installing this, and it is for the 7300, but the installation in your PC will uh, still apply for this. So get that installed, up and going, and let's take a look. The first place we want to look at all the settings in uh, MMTTY. In uh, the modulator, I don't think I changed anything in this. It was really simple for me to just slide the 7610 in place of the 7300 
Not a lot changed in my software. I don't believe anything changed on that tab or the decode tab. The transmit tab for push to talk and FSK, we're using EXT FSK64. And if you download uh, MMTTY now, I believe you get the EXT FSK64 included. So it's not a separate download like it used to be. I don't have anything set up under radio command. Uh, diddle over here set the LTR. Go over the font window, nothing's changed there. Miscellaneous. The sound, the loop back is uh, still set to init. Transmit port is com. PXD FSK. We'll take a look at the USB port. That's just set to normal. Take a close look at these settings. And on the uh, last tab, sound card, we're using the ICOM 7610. It's a USB audio codec. I've renamed mine, so yours will look different. And then on transmission, none is selected. And that does it for MMTTY and the RIDI engine. Now over in EXT FSK, I've got COM5 selected. That is port B on my computer. And that's important. I've got a status of OK. FSK output is DTR because that's what I have COM5 port B set for in the radio. I'm using RTS for push to talk. Let's take a look at the config in N1MM, the configure ports. My COM4 is port A in the 7610. And I'm using the radio set IC7610. I have CW and others selected. Let's go over to the set. The 115.2 is important for the spectrum display. I don't believe I changed anything over here. DTR pin always off. RTS push to talk. And then I have this enabled. COM5, that is my port B in the 7610. Have that set to none. Digi set, CW and other. Let's take a look at set. DTR, CW. RTS, always off. Click OK. And that does it for the config. Now, of course I have my digital mode set up and I'm going to assume that y'all do too. MMTTY and FL Digi. I'm going to click OK. And I get this message every now and then. And I just click OK. Now we're ready to go. I have the uh, spectrum monitor up. I have MMTTY going. There's nothing on the bands right now. It is uh, 528 in the morning. So let's see what uh, this sounds like. You can see it keying down here. You 
Now let me take a look at CW and make sure that's working. I'm going to change modes on the radio and close MMTTY. Then I'm going to go over to window and check the CW reader. And I get this message every once in a while. Not a big deal. What I do is click in there, type in CW, then go back. And it's opening up the CW engine on my other monitor. Okay, let's see if this works. Perfect. Boy, this radio is so smooth. I'm really enjoying it. It's great on digital modes. Very quiet, very smooth. Uh, just a fantastic receiver. Noise blanker is excellent. Noise reduction. Uh, I don't have any complaints. I'm very, very happy with this purchase. And it was a little bit more than I anticipated on, plan on paying for it. But, boy, I'm not going to complain. So this is the way N1MM Logger Plus is set up on my radio. If you have a different way to set it up, please comment below. If you got a suggestion, I'm always open to hearing them. Please visit my website, www.k0pir.us. I'll have more articles on the 7610 and the 7300. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And tell your friends. 73 and good DX.